Who wants more? Me! We're going to show you how to make ice cream in a ball. We've done this before two years ago, and it was really chaotic. And I think today is going to be even worse, so stay tuned to see the chaos. This we are 12 seconds in, and these kids are already testing me. Ow. Okay, on my head. You only need four things for this recipe to work, but I guess they're trying to say our whipped cream is expired, and I accidentally bopped Adley on the head. I have a very poor sense of smell, so we're going to have to taste this instead. Well, it's good. I'll drink that whole bottle. But now that they're finally ready to start, our first step is to get a bunch of ice. So Jayla is going to help us fill this ball up with a ton of ice. As you might remember from a lot of my past videos, one of the most important tools you can use when trying to make ice cream at home is ice and salt. When you add salt to ice, it disrupts the bonds between the water molecules that make them into a solid. So it lowers the freezing point, which actually makes the mixture a lot colder. If you know the freezing point of water, comment it down below in celsius and in fahrenheit our salt is going to melt our ice back into a liquid but make it even colder and inside our ice cream ball there's an aluminum core that's going to hold our ice cream and keep it separate than our icy mixture aluminum is perfect for this because it's highly conductive to heat or in our case cold which will allow our icy mixture to quickly chill the creamy mixture we're going to put in the other side. And all we'll have to do is pass and roll and throw and maybe accidentally make a few people cry. There's one thing I learned from my dad. You're not the fun uncle unless you do a little pranks here and there. Our next step is salt. And I definitely recommend layering the salt and the ice when you put it in here. We forgot to do that. So learn from our mistakes. Also, I forgot to buy rock salt or ice cream salt, so we're using table salt. It's not as good, but it'll still do the job. If you're used to salting food, you might be scared to put a lot of salt on here like D'Angelo was, so I had to help him not be as scared and just dump it on there. Like I said, when you do this, make sure that you remember to layer the salt as you put the ice in. It makes it way better. Once we have all of our salt and ice in, it's time to screw on the cap, flip it over, and make the side we're gonna eat, which is gonna be the whipped cream and sugar. Make sure you get it on there nice and tight. I don't know if you can tell, but a lot has changed since our last video of us making ice cream in a ball. Oakley has this long hair now, Aiden and D'Angelo are almost as tall as me, and I don't have that weird blonde hair anymore. Don't be afraid to let the kids help out at the beginning as well. This is for them, so let them learn. We're filling up the canister all the way with heavy whipping cream. And then we're just going to add a little bit of sugar. You can add as much or as little as you'd like. Adley was really struggling to scoop out the sugar because there's barely any left in this bag. But we put in about one third of a cup of sugar. Like I said, add as little or as much as you would like. You can also use any other sweetener, but I just recommend sugar. But be careful, these crazy kids kept trying to eat the sugar. Now we're gonna go ahead and play with our ice cream. This is how you make it freeze. You shake this around, and as you shake it around, the salt melts the ice and it gets it super cold. And then it cools down that aluminum, which makes the ice cream freeze on the inside. But as you're shaking it up, it actually incorporates air into it, making it nice and creamy. This is the most fun part, but it's also the most dramatic part because now kids have to play together. And we know how this goes. Someone's always got to get hurt or upset or something. So things that we did to make this a lot more fun is we started off simple by just sitting on the ground and rolling it around. This way I could gauge how people were going to play with each other so that when we played the crazier things like throwing, I knew how it would go. Next, we're going to take this outside and start kicking it around. This is actually my least favorite game that we played. We just pretty much did what we were doing inside, but instead of rolling with our hands and sitting down, we were standing up and kicking it around. This is not easy for little kids to do. Adley had a really hard time doing this, and honestly, being an adult, it hurts your foot to kick the ball. And I'm pretty sure they tell you not to do this in the manual that I didn't read. This was by far the best game that we played and the one that we all had the most fun. Just be careful because if you do drop the ball very hard, you could crack the outer shell and your slurry of salt and ice will start to leak. We started off with a little warm up of just passing the ball around the circle just so that everyone could get used to it before we played the actual game, which of course ended up being hot potato and these kids loved it. We played probably 12 rounds. It was so hot outside, we genuinely put our blood, sweat and tears into this. I'm not only the fun uncle, I'm also the mean uncle. I accidentally bopped Adley on the head once again in the same day and I made her cry. 
but we're gonna give her some hugs and let the kids play it out while we help her calm down then a little bit later i also smashed my finger so like i said our blood sweat and tears went into the making this ice cream i'm not sure if you know what it's like to have a big family but it's really hard to get everyone to want to agree to do something together and it honestly makes me so happy that in a moment like this i got all the kids to come together the oldest to the youngest and all play together and be happy and have fun and laughs and maybe a couple tears and a few drops of blood but we all had a great time and i'm so thankful for that when we went back inside we topped off the ice and the salt just to make sure that it was really full so that our ice cream could freeze and we just played around a little bit longer overall we probably spent an hour to an hour and a half doing all of this from start to finish but that's because we were goofing around a lot and the kids were trying to eat the sugar and all kinds of crazy things before you open up the ball, make sure you give it a nice, really thorough rinse. I wouldn't use soap, but just really rinse it with water and then dry it off so you don't get any of that nasty outside water into your ice cream. At this point, we're all ready for some ice cream. It is a lot to wrangle this many kids for this long, and I'm ready to tap out and I'm ready just to get this over with. So let's open up this boy and serve us some ice cream and get some reviews. I love you guys so much. Me too. Me too. That looks pretty good. I forgot one of the most important parts to make this easy to scoop out, and that's to drain all of the ice and the salt from the bottom side first and to warm up the aluminum with some hot water so it's easier to scoop. Since I didn't do that, it was a struggle. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I am really struggling. You call me the ice cream man, I know how to scoop some ice cream. So if you know I'm having this hard of a time, imagine everyone else. But truly the hardest part was making sure that each kid got a cup of ice cream and that everyone didn't eat theirs before someone else got some. It reminded me of those people that put a treat in front of their dog and tell them to sit and make them wait forever. And they're just staring at the treat, waiting for it. That's how the kids were looking at me the entire time. All right, thumbs up or thumb down. It tastes like Lay's chips. Lay's chips? It tastes weird. It's too... It tastes like butter. Addy, can you give me a hand? It's like sort of butter. Can you give me a napkin? It tastes like Lay's chip with uh, onion dip. Lay's chip oh, with yeah. onion dip? Do you guys like it though? Yeah. yeah it's awesome. What about you? You didn't say anything. What do you think? It tastes like butter. Thank it tastes you. like butter. Here, wow, don't scoop butter. out here. Don't scoop out here. We gotta scoop the scooper. Okay. Addy, can you get a thing? Yeah. It's very buttery, but it's good. Yeah. It's good, but Both kind of buddy. buttery. Buddy? Buddy. Butter. All right, who wants more? Me, 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 me. Wow, so it tastes like Lay's chips and butter and everything, but everyone wants more? Yeah, okay. that, it didn't okay. say that was bad. It's good. Butter tastes real good. Okay, all right. <laughs> Since you made it to the end, we have two emojis of the day. We have a spoon and a house, so comment them down below. <laughs> what was that? What was that?